up y'all it is your girl christian danielle and welcome back if you're new here welcome and if you're returning y'all already know y'all the real mvps and whether you're new or returning make sure you like comment subscribe and share so as you can see i'm in the car i am headed to a grocery store second time in less than 24 hours completely different store same chain though right so i explained to you guys i don't remember which video it was but i explained to you guys that i am trying and attempting to use my tiktok more i just i don't know everybody loves tiktok i haven't found my groove i don't really like tiktok still but i'm still trying to use it right so in my usage of tiktok i have succumbed to the hype and the influence of tiktok <laughs> and i have been influenced to try a specific item from trader joe's if you use tiktok then you know what i might be speaking of but if you don't know i ain't gonna tell y'all just yet i'm just going because i don't want to jinx anything so i'm gonna have my fingers crossed right now that this trader joe's has what i need so yesterday i tried to go to a different trader joe's and they didn't have the product probably because it was super busy in there it was a whole sunday and there was just people everywhere and i wanted to ask an employee but i just didn't have the patience in me i didn't have the what's the word i'm looking for I didn't have, I can't think of the word, but just basically my patience level wasn't set up for the amount of people that were in that Trader Joe's, right? It's a new day. It's early. It's nine o'clock in the morning. And just because even though it's nine o'clock in the morning, I feel like I'm still too late to go to this other Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's been open. And if anybody else is on a mission like myself, then they're probably, you know, out <laughs> but um i don't want to tell you guys just yet what it is so just in case like i said fingers crossed they got what i need and we just gonna hop on this freeway real quick see if they got what we need and if they do i'm gonna show y'all if they don't i'm gonna still tell y'all but i don't want to get any of the water dirty yet okay <laughs> so let's go to trader joe's and i will see y'all in a minute but what am I doing before I hit this freeway? We got to put on Mandy and Bridget. I listen to See The Thing Is podcast. One of my favorite podcasts. I love them. They are so great. The only thing is I can't keep up with their work ethic. Okay. They, the Mandy B and Bridget Kelly be working. Okay. Let me just say that. Anybody who needs a inspiration for a work ethic listen to these women because they be working working like i missed now i want to say i have missed how many episodes have i missed i missed one two three four five six seven eight nine episodes and it's been like like two and a half weeks that just goes to show you how much they work per week baby I need to catch up or they need to just, you know, just pause on posting podcasts for like a week so I can catch up, <laughs> but I'm gonna catch up right now. But this is the podcast I'm talking about. See, the thing is, these are my girls. That's Mandy B right there. And this is Bridget Kelly right over there. Beautiful women, women who are winning, women who have an opinion, women who are not afraid to walk in their truth, women, just women. Women in your 30s, you would love them, okay? Point blank and period, all right? So now let's go to Trader Joe's while I listen to this podcast. All right, y'all, so I just went inside Trader Joe's and of course, it was a no. <laughs> it was all the way no. They did not have what I wanted. And that was expected, though, because, you know, TikTok is a gift and a curse. It's a gift because you get to discover new things, but it's a curse because everybody wants to do it. But the girls are getting their makeup done now for the first day of school. Sorry, my bad. But, uh, yeah, everybody wants to try the trends, right? And I guess I'm late because I barely just started using TikTok. 
now as long as TikTok has been around, but it is what it is. But I did get something that I should be having, and that is this. I got the Soja, Suja, Soja, Suja, I think it's Suja, celery juice. Um, I need to drink my celery juice for the next couple of days because your girl is still trying to get this weight off but uh yeah so basically let me tell you what i came to trader joe's for i came here to try the bedia that everybody is talking about right but i want to do the ramen so i was talking to ray the other day and i was like oh my gosh did you see the tiktok trend of the bedia ramen and i'm surprised he hasn't seen it because he lives on tiktok but he said no he didn't see it so i was like dude so I tried, didn't happen. It's all good though. Um, next time, I'll get on the next trend or, you know, in my ventures to Trader Joe's. If I see it, I'll try it then. So, fail for this episode of TikTok Made Me Do It. For now, we're just gonna get our day started. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back at home now and it's time for me to do my back treatments. This is what it looks like when you have to be a self-doctor, I guess. But they sent me this, and look at what it says. It says, okay, let's try to start it over again. I usually put this up on, like, 15. Okay, it's going now. But once I go higher, like, look, it keeps saying check the connections. Now, I unplugged it. Unplug the parts on my back. I've done everything that I'm supposed to do. So now I feel like I'm going to have to call them. Because not them going to have to send me a new machine. If this doesn't start working. The connections are connected. And I usually put it on 15. And it's good at 10. But as soon as you go up. See how the screen changes color. As soon as you pass 10. I usually put it on 15. And 15, there's like nothing. It's almost like it's off. Let me hit it again. Up, 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 nothing. And then bet, bet look, check connections. So, so they did send me a boatload of batteries. So I'm gonna try to change the battery first, which I don't know why I would have to change the battery since this battery is brand new. I'm gonna try another battery and see if that works. Okay, so I'm thinking it may have been the battery. This thing must drain batteries very quickly, which is why they sent me so many batteries. Because I literally put that battery in there. It's already dead. But as you can see, the battery symbol went away. So let's try it now. Oh, please work. I'm tired of being on the phone with people. Okay. We're making some progress. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Thank God. It was the battery. <laughs> All right, y'all, so now that we got this working, um, I have 35 more minutes uh, to treat my back right now, which means I have to do something sitting down. But as you can see, little strings right here, and they go all the way down to my lower back. But since I can't be up walking around at this very moment, I got to find something to do. And I actually have something to do right now, you know, to work never stops the projects never stop nothing ever stops but um this week we are going to another concert but this one is actually planned this time last week's concert wasn't planned it was just spur the moment hey i'm taking you out we going here right but this concert was actually planned we bought the tickets about four or five months ago and when they first went on sale and we are about to go see k-dot himself aka kendrick lamar i've been so pumped up so ready waiting for this concert so again i gotta find something to wear but this time i pretty much know what i want to wear i just i have the tools to create this outfit but worst case scenario i may have to go um back down to melrose tomorrow to get part of the outfit because when i was there last time i found a store that carries the pants that i want 
to wear so yeah i have some here but they're not quite what i want i want full-on camouflage cargo pants and then i'm gonna make a shirt actually so back to the tiktok so i found this girl on tiktok who she cuts up her shirts or whatever so i'm gonna try to cut me up a little shirt but i'm also going to be using my little cricket over there you know my little crick 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 i'm gonna use my cricket over there to design a shirt for this concert so i think that's what i'm about to do right now i'm about to design something up on the computer real quick and i am going to of course apply it to the shirt y'all see in my last vlog that i um went to hobby lobby and i bought a bunch of shirts for the the holiday season but i got an extra black shirt because i knew that i just might want to make something for this concert and that's what i'm about to do so i'm gonna go on here on my computer real quick and i'm gonna design me up a little something something and then i will see you guys as we get into the shirt situation <laughs> I'm no gangster, no killer, I'm just your average Joe. Get prepared. You know. Knocking to the music and eating my snack. I like to call it apple nachos. It's just apples with some peanut butter, Greek yogurt, honey, and some granola right on top super good okay y'all so tutorial alert i have my canva open on my computer that's what you see me doing whereas i'm sitting down listening to the music and i am designing my t-shirt so i opened up a file in canva a t-shirt file i'm just picking out my font i'm typing what i want my shirt to say as you can see here and then i'm going to adjust the font just a little bit i'm just adjusting and resizing it it doesn't really matter what size it is in um canva it's when you get it to Cricut Design Space that really matters, but I just get it prepared as much as I can. So what you see me doing here is now just downloading my file. I'm removing the background. I do have Canva Pro, so that's why I'm able to do that. And now I have Cricut Design Space open and I am going to upload now my file to Cricut Design Space. Just drag it in, boom, hit simple. And then we're gonna cut the image and boom, it's now on our canvas. So we're just gonna adjust that a little bit further. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what size it is in Canva. It's when you get it to Cricut Design Space that matters. I'm just gonna move it over and put it to the size that I want and turn the mirror on and we gonna get to printing. Okay, so I already measured out, as you can see here, my shirt, it's all bunched up, but I already know how big I want this. So we're gonna place the paper in the shiny side down and it's gonna load up just like that. And then you seen earlier how I chose all the options on the screen share and we're just gonna go down here and hit go. And boom, it's preparing our cut. Here's my cutout. You can't see it because it's plain, but you can see like the little lines. See where they cut the image. And I cut my images out um, as close to the cutout as possible. So as you can see, it's like one little strip because you've seen it was a big strip before. But I cut as close to the cutout as possible. That way I don't waste paper because I could always use this paper again put it on a mat and cut it again so yeah and then I'm just gonna use my weeding tool real fast and I'm gonna basically just pull off the part that I don't need and then y'all be able to see the cut out more
and boom there we go okay dot and then we can just take this boom lay it out and we will use our Cricut heat press machine to press it onto the shirt so before we can get started i gotta turn on the heat press machine so i'm gonna hit the power button and i'm gonna bring the temperature down to 315 because i already put the type of material and what i was transferring this logo onto so it gives me the temperature and the time and then we're gonna bring the time down to 30 seconds and then we're just gonna wait let that heat up to 315 and it will be ready to go and while this is still heating up i'm going to take my i'm going to take my mat uh, place it on the inside of the shirt real quick and i'm going to take the heat press now that it's at 315 and i'm gonna warm the shirt up so press it for about few seconds just to heat up the shirt So I want it to be like right here. And then I'm going to take my Teflon, boom, lay it down right on top. And I'm going to take heat press and we're going to place it right on top and hit the timer button. And then we're just going to take that off like this. And I'm going to let this cool down for just a little bit before I peel off the plastic. Okay, now that's had a chance to cool down a little bit, we're just going to lift from one edge and pull. And boom, we got a concert shirt. Hey, hey. So it is a new day. Um, look at my shirt back there. The K-Dot shirt, you see it? In the midst of all that junk over there. But it's cute. And I pretty much decided to wear that and my, um, are they right here? Oh yeah, they are right here. These, these are some camo, basically kind of cargo style pants. I am going to have to do some slight, um, what is it called, tailoring, because I don't like the fact that they're so wide on the leg part, but it's cool. Um, if they're not perfect, it doesn't really matter, because I never really wear these. Plus, it's going to be dark, so you won't see. So this, with that shirt, and I'm going to cut it up tomorrow. But right now what I'm doing is I have to do something with my nails because my nails are out of control right now. I literally cracked and split another one, this one right here, but my thumb is more split than my nail. The nail, it seems like it kind of like already healed. So my thumb is a little bit tender right now. So I think I'm just gonna do my nails and try to be real easy with this nail here so it doesn't get infected. But I have to do something because my nails are, oh, and it's hot. Sorry y'all, I'm sweating. But anyways, I have to do something with my nails because my nails are out of control. Like the fact that they're ripping, breaking, and being this weak is not okay. So I'm just going to continue to take my vitamins and I got to protect them just a little bit. So I'm going to do my Apray Gel X Kit because that I feel like would be, um, yeah, I'm going to do that one. Because either way, I have to file my nails and I feel like 
the dip powder maybe the dip powder maybe i should do the dip no i want to do the apray kit because i want them to be longer so yeah i'm gonna do my apray gel x kit which is right here this right here i'll show you once i get everything laid out and i don't think i'm gonna use any of my old colors i think i want to either use the the shirio you know this one that i got from the flip app the london town i think i want to use this but i went to the beauty supply yesterday and i bought this cute green look at this i don't know can you see it look at how pretty this green is this was the last one so obviously i'm not the only one who thought this nail polish was pretty so cute this is the kiss uh brand and it's the gel strong i've used this brand before and it does last for a decent amount of time um i don't really need it long because i just need it for tomorrow night so yeah but it's either like a combination of these two colors or it's gonna be oh that's pretty too yeah it might be a combination of these two colors look how pretty those colors are but this cheerio is not really like this color it looks pretty and it looks like thick but it's actually translucent you guys know how the girls nails are now where it looks like they're glazed donuts like that type of color that's what color this is it's very translucent you can't it's not a solid like this this is a solid like green but this no so i think yeah i might go with this but these two get together it's just cute maybe i should do one green one you know glazed donut somewhere in between i wish i had a solid color like this because then i definitely would mix the two but yeah we're just gonna go with this one i think i don't know we'll see when we get to the painting process but for now we need to get this nail situation like even set up because y'all I still gotta do my hair and i don't think i'm doing my hair until tomorrow because it's too hot so yeah i'm not probably gonna do my hair because i do have to straighten it and yeah i already got my braids up here you can't see them because i have the scarf on but i put my braids up here and then I have to straighten the edges and do my ponytail but i'm gonna have to do that tomorrow today we're gonna work on these nails because it takes forever anyway because i'm doing my own nails I wish it would take me just an hour, but this is about to be all night process. All right, y'all. So here are some of the things that I'm going to be using for my nails today. Because before I even do my nails, I'm going to do kind of like a hand spa. So I'm just going to soak my fingertips in the water. And then I'm going to wash my hands. Then I'm going to do a hand mask. And here's some hand serum. I'm probably going to put the serum on at the end when I finish with my nails. But I am going to do the hand mask. And then here's some of the other stuff that I have to clean up my cuticles. Boom. Push back my cuticles. File it down. Cut. Whatever I need to do. Because as you can see, well, you can't really see, see. But my cuticles, my nails, everything is crazy. I have hang nails and on my actual hand I have a lot of cuts and stuff because i'm telling you my nails and my hands are really sensitive right now so that is the purpose of this hand mask and shout out to olay because i've been buying up all their little products lately i had i bought this when i went to target the other day this when i went to the target i ended up getting their in shower shower their shower conditioner then i also got another bottle of olay night cleanser olay y'all getting all my money calm down but the price is good so what are we to do i recognize your fragrance hold up you ain't never gotta say shit mm. and i know you taste this a little bit mm. high maintenance mm. everybody else basic you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice poetic justice first hand as you can see real easy peasy uh, press-ons on steroids that's all it is and y'all did a good job this time i got no air bubbles we super gravy Yes, honey. Okay, and now I've filed them down. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. And then I'm gonna apply my color. All right, y'all, so it is time to choose the color. And I really wanna go with this green, but I just did a tester nail and it was very bad. The way that this color goes on to your nail is very it's not good okay it was gooping up so first of all it's really thick 
as you can already see, like extremely thick, right? So it's extremely thick, which one is a problem because when you're putting on nail polish, if it comes out like a little bit more liquidy, then it applies a little bit better, right? And then on top of that, not only does it, is it coming out super thick, but is it a square, oh come on, but it's a square brush as well. And I do not like it when they put square brushes. They should always put one that are like round at the ends because it applies to your nail a lot better. So even though I wanted to use this color, it is just going on extremely terrible. <laughs> It's not going on to where it's cute and I didn't record it because I was just trying to hurry up and get it off But as you can see I have these Nail polish pads and you can see the colors on it because I had it on This hand here and I took it off of all of my nails So I got it all off and I am going to use this London town Cheerio color on my nails because it's going to go on very easily because I already did my toes with it and it applies very well. So we're going to go with this and we're just going to have the donut nails. Hey y'all, so it is concert day and as you can see I have my nails. They're finally done. What I tell y'all, it took all night, the whole night. I don't think I went to sleep until about maybe like 11.30 and I started my nails. It had to be around like 6. So it takes a while when you're doing yourself plus the nail polish kept messing up i had to switch nail polishes it was just we done okay so now it is concert day i'm getting ready right now it's the afternoon now as you can see i got my ponytail one like i said you can see my braids just a little bit right up here on the top but um i'm gonna keep this wrapped up or whatever because it's hot and I am not trying to have everything sweated out before we even get there, y'all. If the fall, don't hurry up with the weather because I'm tired of it being muggy. I'm tired of it being hot. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. Bring on the cold weather. And I am never one to say that. And I'm saying that. So that goes to show you how tired of being hot I am. But anyhow, down here, I just have all my stuff laid out, my, my clothes, y'all. This K-Dot shirt and this whole outfit almost did not make it because your girl is feeling away when i say feeling away ladies you know what i mean like i'm in this space because my little girl girl thing thing is about to come on soon i can tell because when i was getting dressed i was super irritated nothing was fitting right i just felt eh, like blah like low-key like i'm starting to feel it coming on and i'm starting to like like trying to block it out simply because we got to go to this concert we can't get a refund we not getting a refund we spent some coins okay so we go in but i'm trying to block out the irritation that i feel coming on and y'all know ladies it's just an irritation that you can't control it just comes on and that's where we at with it but anyhow hopefully i can make this outfit work i altered it i messed with it i the shirt almost didn't make it because i accidentally cut it too short so i cut it into a crop top like here i cut it across the bottom and i just tied it oh what is this on the shirt i think it's just like some some lint but i tied it right in here in the front and i meant to stop cutting right here and i cut a little bit too high right here so we have this hole here but it's cool because i have like this i guess you want to call this like sports bra type thing that i'm gonna wear underneath it which is fine then i have my pants the pants almost didn't make it i told y'all i had to alter them and i accidentally cut them and cut a string it was just it was a lot in the last few hours but needless to say the outfit is gonna make it for now and then for the shoe i have my pumas these are the marathon pumas as you can see right there it says the marathon shout out nipsey hustle so i'm gonna be wearing my marathon pumas Boom. you see right here tmc 
the marathon continues and then for the jewelry we're just gonna wear this necklace this watch these bracelets here and for the bag on our tickets it says no bag so i'm just gonna we rocking the coach today okay we're gonna put the lulu in the cocoa so we can put the lulu in the cocoa and we rocking the coach because i ain't got time la don't know how to act right now and i'm not trying to be a part of the robberies that they got going on over there so we rocking the coach today and that's it so hopefully at some point i will take a picture in this outfit i gotta see how i feel because like i said I'm trying to block it out but it's coming on and i don't even think my period is supposed to start until like next week but again ladies y'all know the week before you be like i'm about to cuss your mother out okay and i'm trying not to be like that right now trying trying Zenuha. let me go take a shower get my hair all fixed up and put my outfit on and we about to be in the car so wish me luck so we're here you guys just made it and uh he's just waiting now had our drinks we ate some food and waiting for Kevin to come out the next day and i have to say i had an amazing time last night that was a good concert okay it was good it was lit and it was long okay because we like long concerts we like to get all of our pennies worth and they definitely gave us that last night and y'all i feel like i need a ticket plug y'all if i had a ticket plug i literally would have gone back to that concert tonight because there's four shows in total the one we went to last night there's another one today friday and saturday i would have been at all of them okay all of them kendrick would have had to see me okay <laughs> but um yeah so that's that i ain't got no ticket plug so i guess i'm about to be at home but it's cool right now i'm at the 99 cent store i'm about to go uh get some batteries because i'm trying to perfect my matchas y'all know follow me on instagram you know i drink matcha all the time and i'm trying to perfect my matchas i want to make like a pumpkin spice matcha play around with some ingredients because one i like matcha two i keep telling you i'm doing everything to bring on the fall season and pumpkin spice is definitely a fall thing and yeah and it's been a minute since i made you guys like a drink video on my channel so definitely stay tuned because as soon as i get it perfected and whatnot you might be seeing my pumpkin spice matcha latte 
on here okay <laughs> and okay but i'm gonna save all that for the future and i'm gonna close this video out right now because this video has been long enough so thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and share and i will see y'all in the next video whenever that is all right y'all bye